The Tacoma TRD exhaust and cold air intake are a waste of money. Don't do it. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and today I'm gonna to try to save you a little bit of money. You know, I said in the beginning there, the Tacoma TRD exhaust and cold air intake are a waste of money. Now, let me tell you, I fell in that trap myself. I've actually had both. I have the TRD exhaust on my Toyota Tacoma right now, but I do not have the TRD cold air intake on anymore. Now, you guys can see right over here, I did cut the tip off. That's because I wanted some clearance for my extra large tire under there. Um, but all that is is just a black exhaust tip on a pipe. That's probably the biggest part of the TRD exhaust that you'll ever see. Now, why do I say this? As I mentioned, I've had both on this truck, which is a 2020 Tacoma, and on my 2018 uh, TRD Sport. Now, I know a lot of people go out and they get these things because they think it's going to increase fuel economy. In other words, you're gonna get better gas mileage, right? Well, I'm here to tell you it's not true. Now, in testing under the right conditions, I suppose it's possible. You could see a tenth of a percent increase in fuel economy. That's why they can say that it does, right? But I can tell you in real life, I never experienced any difference. Never noticed any increase in fuel economy in mine. What about the exhaust? Same thing. I never noticed any kind of fuel economy increase. I, I didn't become a hyper miler or something like that. No changes. So what other benefit is there? Well, as I mentioned, uh, there's really no benefit. I know a lot of people buy them because they're hoping to get a throatier, deeper exhaust, right? Now, while it's true that putting a TRD exhaust on the Tundra is gonna give you a deeper, better, in my opinion, sounding exhaust, you're not gonna notice anything on the Toyota Tacoma. And for the people out there that say that you do, I think it's just a function of buyer's remorse. In other words, they got it, they put it on, and they're disappointed, but they don't want to admit that, right? Because they spent that money. And these things aren't cheap. Because of that TRD label, you're gonna pay for it. For instance, the TRD cold air intake is 423 bucks. That's not cheap. The TRD exhaust is $650. So if you buy both, you're gonna be in for $1,073, right? Now, what you really need, and the only thing that you need that I see that gives any kind of a benefit is on the cold air intake, the airflow accelerator. That's gonna give you more air coming in through the cold air intake, through the fender, than what the normal stock cold air intake. And did you know what you have stock is a cold air intake? But that air accelerator opens it up a little bit. Now you can get that air accelerator if you really want to do something that's going to give you at least more air running through the system for 29 bucks. That's all you really need because that's the only thing that's really any different. Now is that going to make any difference as far as sound or fuel economy? What about acceleration? I would say no. Now keep in mind there is a little bit of a placebo effect, right? I experienced this myself. When I first put those, all of those pieces onto my Tacomas, I felt like the truck was a little bit quicker. Well, after living with it, being in it for a while, and then switching to this next truck after the 2018 without anything in it, I didn't really notice any difference. So I think it's all in our heads, right? And again, I experienced the same thing. So what should you do? If the TRD exhaust and cold air intake is just a waste of money, what do you do if you're looking for something extra? Again, not as far as fuel economy goes, there's nothing that's gonna increase fuel economy except for maybe ripping the seats out to get rid of weight, maybe running premium fuel, keeping your foot off the gas a little bit. That's how you're gonna improve fuel economy. But if you're looking to increase sound, you know, I've done a couple of things for mine and I gotta say, I had the MBRP exhaust on the truck before. Um, not on this truck, but on my 2018. 
and it was drony. I got more sound. It sounded great at startup, right? You got a nice little brum, and then when you hit it going down the road, you got another little brum. But the problem is you had that brum all the time, right? You had that drone in the background. When you're cruising on a trip or going down the freeway, you could always hear that. Now, if that doesn't bother you, then I would recommend don't go with the TRD exhaust, go with an MBRP. It's gonna save you some money too. An MBRP exhaust, depending on what flavor you get, is between $220 and $420. So it'll save you a little bit depending on which one you get, although almost equivalent um, to the cost of the cold air intake, but still less than the TRD exhaust at 650 bucks, right? Oh, and don't forget about labor. Unless you're gonna crawl under there and put it on yourself, you're gonna to have to pay somebody to do that too, at least as far as the exhaust goes. Both can easily be done, but the cold air intake is much simpler. And speaking of the cold air intake, you know, I have an s and cold air intake on mine right now. Uh, you guys can see it right here. And my main reason in going with the intake to begin with, aside from hoping that I got more sound out of the TRD version, was aesthetics. The TRD cold air intake looks awesome under the hood with its red highlights, it's a little bit different design, it looks awesome. But I think the S&B is even better. I'm a fan of the clear lid like this. You guys can see the bigger filter in here. I think it's just awesome. I love the way that it looks. As far as sound goes, man, if there's any difference, it's probably minimal. Uh, you might hear a little bit more out of this when you really get on it, but unless you're into the gas every time you drive, you're probably not going to notice anything really different. I do still have the TRD exhaust on the truck. Again, I don't hear anything any different. And for anybody out there who says, well, you don't hear anything different because you cut the tip off. It doesn't make any difference. That exhaust tip does nothing for sound. So. What would I recommend? First of all, don't waste your money on the TRD exhaust and cold air intake unless you want to be able to see that tip off of the exhaust on the back of your truck and maybe that really admittedly gorgeous looking cold air intake under the hood if you're not a fan of something like the S&B. I would go with an S&B cold air intake at 329 bucks. That's versus 423 for the TRD version. And then I'd go with the MBRP for somewhere between 220 and 420, depending on which one you choose, versus 650 for the TRD version. That's gonna save you about $324. In other words, 1,073 for the TRD setup versus 749 for the MBRP, most expensive, uh, and S&B cold air intake setup. The difference, $324, can be spent on something even cooler, uh, which again, this is all personal preference, but for me, it's the Trigger 4 wireless accessory system. I love this, it controls all of my accessories wirelessly, and that thing will cost you, for the four hookup version, I guess, you can run four accessories off of it, they do have a six accessory version, but for what I have, $264, a bit less than the difference between the S&B and MBR set, MBRP setup and the TRD setup. Anyway, just something to think about. I've been there, I've done it. Don't waste your money on the Tacoma TRD exhaust and cold air intake unless you're really just looking for aesthetics. Leave a comment, let me know. Did you notice, really and be honest, a big difference if you've got both on your truck other than aesthetics? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator out there. Don't forget to click that notification button so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.